Hello guys, welcome to ITS Information Technology Skills. On this video, we're going to create button with Tkinter. So let's start. So dito sa code natin guys, nakapag-import na ako or nilagay ko na yung import Tkinter. Nag-create na rin ako ng window. So the name of our window is root with a geometry or a size of 500 by 500. So nilagay ko na lang siya para meron na tayong specific size for our window. Then, of course, yung main loop po natin for the window. So, to create a button, dito tayo sa gitna ng root TK and root main loop. Okay? So, dun natin nilalagay lahat ng mga objects natin or widget natin. To create a button, kailangan natin ng object name for that button. So, let's say, B1 na lang for the button. And equals to anong widget siya? Of course, we have button widget. Then, inside the parentheses, Identify natin kung saan natin i-display yung button natin. Of course, doon natin i-display sa root natin na window. Okay, then next, the first property ng button natin which is the text. Okay, so ano yung i-display niya na text for that button? So let's say, ang i-display niya na text is click me. Then after that, ipak na lang natin yung button natin. And aside from pack, meron din tayong other methods para ilagay yung mga widget natin dun sa screen po natin or dun sa window natin. So, we have a separate video about that on how to position widgets using grid with Tkinter. Ilalagay ko na lang yung link down below or sa taas ng screen nyo para mapanood nyo din. Okay? So, let's try to run this program. So, this is the output guys. Kung makikita natin, meron tayong button click me ang text dun sa window natin. Okay? So, yung 500 by 500, that is the window size. Kaya kung makita natin, ganito na yung size nung window natin. To learn more about the other methods or functions that you can use in building your GUI, I'll be placing a link down below or just sa taas ng screen nyo about sa video natin entitled How to Build Your Application Using Tkinter. So, kapag klinik natin tong button natin, wala pa siyang mga other methods or activities na gagawin. Okay? So, ganyan lang siya. Nakadisplay lang muna yung buttons natin. So, now guys, tignan naman natin yung ibang options natin na pwede natin ilagay dun sa buttons po natin. Okay? So, these are some of the options na pwede natin ilagay. Okay? So, first, we have the FG. Short for foreground. Basically, ito yung color nung text dun sa loob ng button. So, the default one is color black. Kaya nakikita natin dito sa text na click me, color black ang nakalagay dyan. Now, if we're going to use FG, magkama lang tayo dyan and the option na gusto natin ilagay. So, let's have FG. Palitan na lang natin to ng color blue. Then, let's try to run the program. Kung makikita po natin, naging color blue po yung text nung click me. Next, we have the Font. Okay, so for the font, it is used to change the font of the button's label. So basically, nilalagay naman dito is the font size and the font style. So ayun, palitan na lang natin yung font size nung button natin. Okay, so let's have font. Sabihin na lang natin 25. Now, let's try to run the program. Observe, yung text po nung click me, lumaki po. So, aside from the font, pwede din natin baguhin yung border. Okay, so first, we have the BD. Magkama lang tayo dito, then enter na lang para hindi tayo mapuno on dito na side. Okay, so let's have a BD. Paritan natin siya ng 10, then observe what will happen. So, ngayon, kung makikita natin that the border of our button, parang nagkaroon siya ng dimension. Okay? So, it's just the thickness of the border. So, balik natin yan sa default one. I would like the default one, yung 2 lang. So, tanggalin na lang natin tong border na ito. The next, we have the BG. Short for background color. To place a background color for our button. So, dito sa code natin, palitan na lang natin tong FG ng BD. Okay? So, ibig sabihin na yung background color natin magiging color blue. And of course, nawala na po yung FG dito na property. Babalik ng color black yung text po natin. So, let's try. Observe the output. Yung text po natin, color black po na yung click me. Then, the background is color blue. So, ganun lang po yung BG or the background color. Next, we have the active background. For the active background naman, this is the background color when the button is under the cursor. Ito po yung magiging color kapag clinic mo yung button. For this one, Tatanggalin na lang natin tong BG. So, ibig sabihin, ibabalik natin siya sa default color niya. Yung ganito po. Okay? So, we're going to use active background. So, kama lang tayo dyan. Sa next line na lang tayo. So, we have active background. The value is color blue. So, ibig sabihin, pag-clinic ko yung button, tsaka lang siya magiging color blue. 
Let's try. Observe, yung button po natin, bumalik siya sa default kasi tinanggal natin yung BG na color kanina or the background color. Ngayon, pag clinic ko yung button, makikita nyo magiging color blue. That is the active background. Next, we have the active foreground. From the word foreground, this is the foreground color kapag yung button mo is clinic mo naman. So, ngayon, yung foreground natin is color black kahit po nakaklik yung button. Nakakolor black pa rin po yung text na click me. So, gagamitin natin. Pag naklik yung button, magiging color white naman yung text para mabasa. Okay? So, kama lang natin to. Then, let's have active foreground. Let's try. So, here, click lang natin yung button natin. Makikita nyo that the text na click me naging color white na po siya. Okay? So, that is the active foreground. So, next guys, we have the pad X and pad Y. Used to place additional padding for the text. Pad X is horizontal. Pad Y is vertical. So, magkama lang tayo dito. Then, sa next line tayo, let's have pad X muna. The value is 25. Then, let's try. Now, observe that the text na click me is merong distance from the border. Okay? So, nagkaroon na siya ng distance from this part and this part. Okay? So, that is pad X. Now, let's try to have pad Y. Let's say 10 and run the program. So, nung naglagay tayo ng pad Y, the value is 10, makikita natin nagkaroon siya ng distance from the upper and lower border of the button. Meron din tayong width and height. Ang difference naman ng width and height is to set the width and height of the button, of course. Okay, so let's change this. Ibalik lang natin siya sa original style niya. So, babalik natin siya sa ganito. Okay? So, ngayon, maglagay tayo ng width and height. So, let's say yung width na nilagay natin is 25. Magiging ganito po yung button po natin. For the height, lagay lang natin. Let's say 5. Ganito naman po ang magiging output po niya. Okay? So, basically, ginagamit tong width and height para ma-identify natin kung ano yung magiging size ng button natin kapag gusto natin maglagay ng image for that button. Okay? So, for placing an image for a button, I'll be creating a separate video about that. So, ngayon, tanggalin lang natin tong width and height. Mas gusto ko yung default na width and height niya. Yung wala ding padding. Then, next, we have the command. So, yung command naman, it's used for functions or method to be called when the button is clicked. So, ginagamit tong command para tumawag ng method or function kapag clinic na natin yung button. Let's say, yung button natin magde-display ng isang message kapag na-click siya. Okay? So, gawa na lang tayo ng function for that. Okay, so, dito sa taas, maglagay na lang tayo ng function. Copy this first and I'll explain ko ano ibig niyang sabihin. So, here guys, gumawa tayo ng function name C1. Okay, so, ang gagawin ng C1 na yan is to create a label para maka-display tayo ng isang message. Okay? So, ang laman ng label na yon is, this is the message. Ipak na lang natin siya. So, ngayon guys, dito sa my button natin, ilagay na natin yung command. Okay? So, kama lang dito, then enter. Then, tawagin lang natin kung ano yung command or function na gusto natin tawagin. Okay? So, the name of our function is C1. Kapag clinic natin ngayon yung button, magdi-display yung this is a message na label. Of course, kapag ilang beses natin yung i-click, always lang na nagdi-display yung message. Okay? Kasi nakapak lang tayo. Pababa lang yung display ng label po natin. So, sa command guys, pag nagko-call kasi tayo ng function or method, meron tayong parenthesis just like ito. Yung pack, meron siyang parenthesis. Yung main loop, meron siyang parenthesis. Pero sa command, hindi natin nilalagay yung parenthesis. Okay? So, just call the function name. So, that's guys. That is how to create a button using Tkinter. Kung nakatulong tong video na to, don't forget to like. And of course, kung gusto mo pang matuto about computer programming and other computer stuff, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more tutorial videos. Bye!